Okay, here we are. Set into the distance is 153 Ayers Point Road. And this is a beautiful, beautiful location in Old Saybrook. We've got the marsh views right here and quick access to 95 or Route 9. Uh, this driveway coming up is actually owned by the property with easement for shared driveway for the home to the left that's nicely kept and the home to the right. The home we have here is six bedrooms, four full baths. We actually have five car garage with an unfinished bonus space uh, attic uh, above the three car garage. And we're gonna take you through this. This is a spectacular home that has not been offered for close to 30 years in terms of same owner has owned it for 29 and change years. But this home right here does have some deferred maintenance. It's something that creates great opportunity for you. If you're looking for a home where you can step in and do updates of your choice, that would be something that you might want to consider this home for. It's got spectacular river views from the widow's watch up there. We actually have an in-ground pool over here to the left of a two-story solarium. And take a look at the floor plan, you'll see that. So my pool area is a spot that this pool, in-ground pool condition, really we don't know what it is. It used to work fine. The sellers have not uh, been using this for years, uh, but the solarium looks out onto the pool area right here. And it's a fun spot because of the fact that you don't have any of the flood risk that many of the areas here in town have. This deck does pick up a nice river view. As soon as the leaves are gone, you'll be able to see that. We'll show you the three car garage right there. Above it is a fully uh, unfinished attic space. The deck here definitely could use some updating. This is old pressure treated lumber. Uh, it does have first generation treks on the deck surface up here, but How's this for a nice little view? you got the Baldwin Bridge right there in the distance and the marsh and zero flood risk. If you're a boater, got plenty of marinas close by. My entrance to the home is off of the driveway area here. And we've got plenty of parking, paved driveway. The three car garage has a people door which brings you in to the garage from the side. Here is the two car garage right here. And I'll just jump into the backyard. We are up against the property line, so it's not like you're gonna be able to clear hundreds of feet that way. The um, heat pumps are right there. The home, like I said, does have some deferred maintenance in terms of some peeling paint. So this definitely won't be for someone that's a VA or FHA buyer, but nice little courtyard right here. And we're gonna take a look on the inside right now. So what we have here is a classic split level home. We've got a lower level and the upper level and one level above it. The main floor, as you come in, you have a large, fireplace right here with the uh, vaulted ceiling above, dining area, bar area, kitchen. Here's my foyer. My two car garage is right here. And then we've got the three car garage across the way, coat closet right here. So like I said, HGTV ready home. You can do your own updates the way you want it. We've got the pricing low enough so that there's plenty of headroom. The municipal evaluation at over 830,000 provides you with real great opportunity to put in as much money as you want into this property with updates and still be able to be one of the lower priced homes in the neighborhood. My views here are really pretty nice. I've got the distant water view, the Baldwin Bridge and Marsh view right there as you can see. 
in this bay element breakfast area. We've got the bar area right here. The formal dining room is right here. This formal dining room is open to the loft in the family room. We even have the Juliet balcony right here that looks down into the solarium that we'll get to and my in-ground pool that's covered with leaves right now. Don't you just love this time of year? A lot of yard work for all of us. So fireplace right there. The main floor has two bedrooms, two full baths. So our primary bedroom is on this first floor right here. The primary bedroom does have a window that goes out to the solarium and looking out at the pool area. It is a vaulted ceiling adding to the sense of space. Walk-in closet right here. The full bathroom right here. Absolutely ready for some updating. This door right here closes off the master suite. And then we've got a full bath right here serving the first floor. The secondary bedroom, bedroom number two, reach-in closet right there. And as we come up the stairs, we have bedroom three out over the two-car garage. This bedroom three has a large walk-in closet that spans the entire length of this wall. The Before the roof was replaced, there was a hole cut right here to check and make sure that there was no mold or anything in the drywall. Never got around to fixing that up. So vaulted ceiling right here. Again, hard surfaces ready to go in terms of needing paint. You're going to do the updates to the flooring. Coming up to my loft area. This is actually one of my favorite spots in this house. Uh, for the number of times that I've been here. I've got this ship's ladder that goes up to the uh, widow's watch. And again, my water and marsh views right there coming up to my widow's watch. Nice spot. I have a tendency to think I might even make this an office space because I've got even better views up here. And you've got view down into the pool area. This loft area, we've got an attic right there with air handler serving this floor. Full bathroom number three right here. This one happens to have a one piece tub shower. Bedroom number four reach in closet right there we've got one more level for you coming on down to the lower level don't forget on the three car garage there's an unfinished bonus room above a detached three car so Lower level storage underneath these stairs right here. We've got a, uh, basically a laundry room right here. Washer, dryer right in that corner. Got a lower level family room. All of the personal property will be removed by the occupant and seller. We've got the solarium right here. The solarium does have access right out to the front yard and again, great views of the Connecticut River. My pool area, in-ground pool right there. Condition we don't know of because it has not been opened in five years. Bedroom number five right here, open to the solarium. Walk-in closet right there. Bathroom number four, compartmentalized. And bedroom number six. Right here we've got a neat walk-in closet right there. 
in another unusual spot that the original builder for this whole subdivision did a sunken family room or living room right here the pit if you want to think of it kind of a neat spot so that's it 153 errors schedule your showing ASAP this home will be under contract before you know it little bonus footage right here we've got our three-car garage the side people door right here this three-car garage will be all cleaned out I love the LVLs right there because it gives us the living space above in terms of potential for use as a living space accessory dwelling unit EDU is some of those town zonings call it the area actually is cut up into a cedar closet right here and on my south end another cedar closet but this could easily be another office space drop a ductless mini split in here cut in a full shed dormer you might be able to do a full bath that's it